Uh, BLM here, and I'm gonna do a collection update. I know I just did one like a couple days ago, actually, but I just went to the flea market. I'm not flea market. Uh, thrift store today, uh, and I got five games. Um, I said originally I was gonna wait to um, do a like wait another month or something. I said, what the hell? I might as well just do it now. Um, and all the games that I got, I can't even play because I don't own the systems that they're for, so. But, I've played some of these in the past. But, uh, the first game is, oh yeah, I just want to say, I spent, how much did I spend? 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents. What is that? So what, like, 275 on these five games, which is a great deal. Love that thrift store. Um, I got for the Genesis, which this is my first Genesis game. I got NFL '95. I would normally never have gotten this game, but it was only twenty five cents, so that's a bargain. It also came with the instructions. It didn't come with the box, but instructions are okay. Um, also came with this. I don't know what this is. I think this was supposed to be inside the instructions. It's like um, an ad for the controller, for a new controller and stuff like that, in the multiplayer. And yeah, here's the yeah instructions. Um, I got two NES games. I don't even own an NES, and these are definitely not um, like I never actually planned to own these games, but I just got them because they were both twenty five cents too. Um, these aren't like really popular games either. They're not that great either. Um, I got Othello, I think you pronounce it. It's like a board game, I think. Uh, never play on playing this, but it was only 25 cents. I also got MTV Remote Control. I think that was a game show back in the day. Yeah, wait. Right. The official video game version of MTV's worthless game of useless... Wait. Worthless... Game of useless TV knowledge. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably never play this one either. And then, last but not least, I got two Xbox games. Uh, again, I don't have an Xbox. I do plan on getting one soon. I just haven't been able to find one. If, like, it's my last resort, I'll go to Play and Trade. Because I hear they're selling them for $25, which is a pretty good deal. Um, so, yeah, I got... Um, damn it. Uh, these were, I think, a dollar, yeah, a dollar each. I got Star Wars Republic, the, wait, Star Wars Republic Commando in terrible condition. There's, like, stickers, crap all over it. And it doesn't come with the manual, but it's, like, it's, yeah. <laughs> I saw eBay, like, these go, like, for, this game goes, like, for $20, $25. Like, I don't understand how, um... Yeah, it's uh, I think it's a first person shooter, isn't it? It's a shooter. I don't know if it's first person or third person, but um, I doubt it's as good as the other um, Star Wars games for 360. I mean, not 360 for Xbox, uh, especially Knights of the Old Republic. That game's pretty awesome. And the last game on this collection update is for dollar. Uh, James Bond. Wait, James Bond 007 Agent Under Fire for the Xbox. Um, it's complete. Uh, so, I don't know how good this James Bond game was. I doubt it's as good as GoldenEye. Uh, because I know all of the ones after GoldenEye weren't as good as GoldenEye, obviously. But, I think this one got pretty decent reviews. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited to play it when I eventually get my Xbox. So, yeah, that's my collection update. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.